Can you talk about, so you, you talked about Firefox OS enabling local content and interactions and web interactions beyond the, can you just go a level deeper in terms of what does that mean and how do you, how do, you do that? Well, two things. I'll say a little bit. And then the second part is, it's not for us exactly to figure out exactly what it looks like. Yeah. Right? So, so there's a bunch of problems or, or uh, opportunities or ways to create economic value that sitting here, you, know, you, you won't know. So there's a couple things about that. One, web technologies are broadly known. They're, they're interoperable. There's, oh, I don't know, eight, nine million web developers already in the world, mm -hmm. so the knowledge base spread out is much easier. We don't have the same distribution limitations, so if you want your app in a Firefox OS marketplace, we're happy to have it, but the, the goal is not to get everything coordinated in one place where, you know, if you're gonna search for a local app that solves a particular problem in a region in country X, it's never gonna be high in the you know, search or desirable criteria. So how do you distribute apps? How do you make private village or family apps that you're not really looking for the world to know. So there's a set of activities that are designed for and fit in. Then there's also the interoperability with the web content and the, the ability to get to content. You know, when you have apps and they, one app gets data from another app and processes it and gives you an answer, it's really great if it, if it exists and gives you the answer that you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it gets the three sets of data together with the right APIs and has a nice interface and delivers it to you, it's like magic. Yeah. But there's a lot of data in the world for which that isn't true. And so taking every combination of experiences that might be useful around the world um, that aren't global in nature. Like there's some gaming, some messaging, some social apps that will be global. And so it seems that part of it is there's not a centralized kind of approval process store for the, the applications and the, the uses. And it also uses web technology, which is more dispersed globally as opposed to um, specific iOS development right. skills. Or... Well, no centralized control system really for anything. That's yeah. true for the technologies, what you use, how they develop, if they make sense. It's true for distribution, and it's also true on, on the revenue and monetization side.